we are back to the tutorial and now I will show you how to create a chimney hood and shelf behind it. So let's begin, open our group and create a line 215 length. Perfect. Close the rectangle make a group and extrude it by also 250 now I'm sorry select everything grab a midpoint and using arrow keys drag it to the middle of the uh, cooker stop now move it there and lift it a little bit up by 50. Extrude to the corner. Make it smaller by 100. In my case you might have some different distances. grab an edge and using rotate copy it type in for 35 degrees continue line and push it erase make a group open and offset it you see it's too big now so let's make it smaller close the group and push control on your keyboard to make it smaller it's good now this doesn't work so open and draw some lines to separate and delete it's smaller now but also too big now it's okay good extrude 6 millimeters or 5 or 7 doesn't matter delete necessary lines and create another offset Type in 115 and make another one offset and type in 16. Extrude and use your round corners in 3D, 2 millimeters and 4 segments. Good now. Select outer edges this would be a glass so we need a different corner rounding I will show you what I mean I mean that we need only one millimeter and one segment this is like glass looks good now Sorry. Also, select everything except group and lift it up. 100 millimeters, for example. Remind this value and close the face. Select it and down 100 millimeter. Now we can round corners in 3D. Type in two millimeters and four segments we are done we have a chimney hood now let's create a uh, shelf and shelf is a simple rectangle with two cylinders so let's create it it's very simple 
type in 40. And copy this group, this plane, not a group, down there. Now extrude by pushing control and lift it up. For example, in this place. If it looks not good, we can make it something like this. Yes, it's good now. Create a circle in, uh, for example, 7 millimeter radius. Make an offset of 1 millimeter. Copy to the another side. Now push this plane to the end point and do the same thing with this circle. Now we have some separate cylinders so let's push it to the end point and end point is ceiling it's good and let's push it a little bit down type in 13 it will be uh, 3 centimeters also we need to put some details on it and it's a time for round corners in 3D select on the rectangle and round corners and two mil let's type in 1 millimeter and 3 seconds it will be a key for this board it's proceeding quite fast and good now also make some roundings on the circles not to be so sharp so this was a tutorial on how to create a chimney hood and a shelf see you on the next lesson